Hello again. It's uh, another cold day out here in Texas. Uh, weather outside is 27 degrees. Here in, in here in the greenhouse, it's pretty nice. It's not it's not warm, too warm, but it's not uncomfortable either. You know, got the hoodie off and not blowing smoke out of my mouth, so I guess it's pretty decent. Uh, my Bayite temperature digital temperature control module, Bayite. I just got this in and I'm going to be installing this on the heater that I built. Uh, so far the heater is working great, it's been keeping up with everything. Uh, other than the fact that I've been having to come out and turn it off every so often because the water starts getting a little too warm. Uh, I guess that's the only downside so far but once I install this digital temperature control it should work out pretty good. Um, I checked around on the internet for a lot of different models and uh, everything that I found I either had to put everything together build everything and this is the only one that I could actually find that would handle the heating element that I have the heating element is a thousand two hundred watts this unit here as you can see is rated for a maximum load of a thousand six hundred and fifty at 110 volts so this will actually be perfect for what I'm doing and here it goes right here so now I went ahead and spent a little bit extra money I found this one on Amazon for uh, I believe it was like 50 52 dollars some of the other I, I did find some cheaper items and uh, everything else I, I had to put it together you know and this is the only thing I could find that could handle the wattage that I needed and it was actually plug and play and I, for me that's that's a big thing you know I, I don't have a lot of time to be out here you know doing and trying to build everything so when I can find something at a pretty decent price that I don't have to do much work on well you know you're gonna have to try it out but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed and show you guys how it works and uh, let you know how how it uh, works out for me once I let it run for a little while so to install this unit the way I did here and mount it onto the stud all I did was set a couple nails in the back as you can see there found some that would fit and as you see back here it has the notches to be able to mount it so you take the center of uh, those two holes and center it on the wood you can see behind the nails you can see the marks center it drive them in test fit it make sure it's as snug as you need it and that's all there is to it for the installation part So this is going to be the final installation, got everything zip tied, it looks pretty neat. Now setting the, uh, the digital control module, the instructions say to press set for 3 seconds and it goes to your, um, your set value. Now this is the value that you want to try to keep the uh, temperature at. So right now it, it was saying that it was at 64 degrees so I'm going to set it at 65 and this is your heat differential so this is how far you want to let the water cool before the heating element turns on again so being at 65 so it'll turn on at 60 once it gets down to 62 degrees it'll turn on the heater and take it back up to 65 so that, that's pretty good so now I reset again so everything's set as you can see right here our set value is at 65 degrees our temperature of the water right now being measured by this thermometer is at 64.2 and right now it doesn't look like the heater's on Oh, so this is going to have to end up dropping down to 63 degrees 
in order for it to turn on again. So now, if I push the set, because the set value is a 65, the differential is at three. So if I take this to a differential of, let's say one, let's do a half a degree. Set that in place. See, push power. There it goes, see, works just fine. Heat turned on, it'll take it up to 65 degrees and it won't let it go fluctuate but a half a degree. So that's pretty nice. I don't want it to set, I don't want it to be going on and off that much. So I'm gonna change my heating differential to, let's see, I had it at 65, at 64, 63. I'm going to leave it back on 62 degrees. So once it gets down to 62 degrees, it's going to turn off. Well, once it gets up to 65, it's going to turn off. And then once it gets down to 62 degrees, it's going to turn back. The heating the heater is going to turn back on won't, and it won't allow it to go past 62 degrees or below 62 degrees. I mean, sorry. So it seems like everything's working pretty good. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down in the uh, comment section. I'll try to answer it as soon as I can. I do get kind of busy sometimes, but I, I do go back to it from time to time. And uh, if you have any other questions about any of the uh, things that you see in the hydroponic setup, I mean the aquaponic setup, feel free to ask. I'll answer as many questions as I can, anything that I'm capable of answering. Uh, most of the stuff I've done has been from trial and error looking up a lot of information from here and there Not really ever one good source, but just piecing everything together But as you can see I've got everything growing pretty darn good Except for the mint don't look at the mint that one Started dying off because of the cold and also I need to trim it back. I think I'm probably gonna get rid of it though that one and the uh, the green onion. Hey, that's just way too much green onion for me. But as far as the lettuce, oh man, that stuff's growing great. Tastes real good. Tomatoes, I'm gonna have to go back through and uh, pollinate these to get them to start producing some tomatoes. Not very many bees are flying out in 26 degree weather. Oh, everybody have a good night. And stay warm.